r slash anti work. Nalif Enesafring says. I'm from Russia, I'm ashamed of all the evil that Russia does, I just looked at a Vito, one room apartments in this into human hilaria, cost $70,000. When I worked as a courier, my real salary was $80 sign per month. In winter, I managed to save $16 in 2 months. How? I'm from Russia, I'm ashamed of all the evil that Russia does, I just looked at a Vito, one room apartments in this into human hilaria cost 7 million rubles. When I worked as a Yandex courier, my real salary was 8, 000 rubles per month. In winter, I managed to save 1,600 rubles in 2 months. How much work does it take to earn money for a concrete kennel? Included photo. Parlacat Xarxo says, as in most of Eastern Europe, if your family didn't steal everything not nailed down, when the wall came down, then you're shit out of luck today. Them's the breaks. Nalif Enesafring says. What does it mean, them's the breaks? Parlacat Xarxo says. It means it is what it is, and nothing really you can do about it. Shredneck just says. I'm sorry you're dealing with that. I know in America we have a lot of problems and no real solutions, but I can imagine living in that situation is difficult. I hope life brings you some kindness. You also know English quite well. Xshion9101 says. To the op, the working class the world over is in the same situation. I'm in the United States, and while I vehemently oppose what your government is doing in Ukraine, Please know that I hold no animus towards Russian people. We are all human beings. Your government is extremely wrong for about what it is doing. But that doesn't mean I think Russian people are bad people. Anyone who is working class is my kind of people. My government does a lot of terrible and horrible things too. But that doesn't mean I'm a bad person. I wish you all the best, and I hope you find success and happiness in life working class solidarity around the world. Solitariog says. Reminds me a bit of the round building in Aberesnai Chelny, Tatarstan Republic. It was half finished when I visited there in 1998-99, but has apparently been finished for some time now, and is expensive as hell. Rad underscore Miguel says. The rest of our countries aren't much better. Bagtis says. Wish that Russia was still in its prime, but alas the world lost that in 1991 when everything collapsed for Russia. I honestly would say we truly live in the darkest of all timelines. 03G Prangler says. Being a war criminal is expensive. I do not feel bad for you. R slash anti work. Mr. Matchett's 111,111 says. My office manager always makes me feel bad when I come back to work after calling in. Yesterday I called into work and when I got to work this morning my office manager saw me and didn't say anything and then started stomping around the office and sighing and slamming things. She did this the last time too. It makes things very tense and awkward and idk what I can do about it besides wait for her to cool down. I understand that she would be frustrated, but she doesn't need to act childishly about it. BRX9446 says. Honestly it sounds more like her problem and not yours. I'd go about my day acting the same as always. If she tries to make you feel bad, by acting like a child just ignore it, and pretend she's acting normal. Godgety says. I've noticed that people who brag about working hard often get angry, and resent when other people take their own time off. They run around begging for compliments with their blustering about how much they have to do, how they came in on the weekend, and how they have to cover for everyone else, when they are the ones who put themselves in that position. They are just trying to be a martyr. Ignore them. Nia Green Lantern says. I would say, you seem tense. Maybe you should take a mental health day and take care of yourself. And just see how that plays out. 
Extra Fancy Paprika says. Talk with ours. Retaliation is unacceptable. Pachelumbo says. Act like you just don't notice her immature behavior and act as normal. She'll face the fact that she's being childish when you're smiling like everything's alright. Crawler Seek Friend says. I would tell her that slamming things is disturbing me just to make her erupt in rage. Random Limithodical says. It really depends on your relationship. If she's a good boss otherwise, and you have a decent relationship you could try asking things, like you don't seem like yourself today, is everything alright? Or how did everything go yesterday? Something to break the ice and let her say what she needs. Don't apologize for taking a day that you needed, and don't feel like you need to explain why you took the day or what you did. This is about her feelings, and helping her work through them, so that you can have a better working environment. If she's a toxic boss it probably isn't worth engaging. Sawermittal says. I always get what happened to you yesterday. I called out sick he stares at me, I stare at him, he walks away. R slash anti work. Brendan Vericool says. I called out sick, and am looking for support. I called out sick. Because I'm sick. Don't even know if it's covered yet. We are short staffed at my work, and my manager told me he's sick this morning. I texted him, and said I'm staying home tomorrow cause I'm sick. He replied are you serious, I replied do you want me to come in sick. He said nope I'm the bottom of the barrel at this job, near minimum wage, no tips, etc. So I don't feel any sort of responsibility of solving the problems that have been caused by us being short staffed. Additional context that is definitely relevant, I just got back from about a month of wildland firefighting. When I get called to go out on a fire call, I get about 12 hours notice usually. So yeah I've been gone while we've been short staffed, which is where the are you serious reply comes from. I told this job from the start that I do wildland firefighting. Anyways just came to vent, thanks. Toast Edford says. Say it with me, it's not your fault your workplace is short staffed. Gold Federal 914 says. Bottom of the barrel job, you owe them nothing. E to your employer should be 100% supportive of your wildland firefighting, you protect people and property and you're just as important as the US military. Psych underscore art says. Bro I was literally throwing up in front of my boss and two customers last week, and my boss was acting like I was just gonna keep going through the day, telling me what still needs to be done. I told him I was going home, and if it was so important then he could take care of it. Frick any job or person who thinks their business is more important than your health. You did the one thing I didn't. You called out. Good on you, don't feel bad. People get sick, and if they can't accept that, then start looking for a new job and once you find one, quit without notice. Charleston to Seattle says. I don't know your boss and you do, but keep in mind we can't hear inflections over text. I can think of several ways to say are you kidding? That all means something different. Jkdil says. You deserve your sick time man, nothing to feel guilty about. It's their fault they are short staffed, and you are doing a great job communicating with them that's the best you can do. Femina Foda says. If you're sick you're sick. Don't let it make you feel guilty that you go to work. It isn't your fault you're sick. Shit happens, life happens and, if your manager can't understand that, that's their problem not yours. It's better you rest than go to work and make everyone else sick and the cycle continues. Your manager should know that by now. I get being short staffed, is a stress in of itself, but honestly you can't control, when people get sick. r slash anti work. Abharanta Parishan says. Lived in the woods for 4 years, to escape the rat race. Got my eviction notice today. 
Hi guys, I pop in from time to time to spread support and show love. I was down and out years back, moved into a seemingly abandoned woodland. Before the first winter I built a shack cabin and loved life since my first day off grid. My first account is you slash Greenman off the woods found out today from the landowner that gave me permission in my first month that he wants me gone now. I've kept it clean and mainly built from wood so it doesn't look tacky. He said it's because too many people are talking about it. I just wanted to live by my own wits, hands and skill. Expensive underscore yak underscore 7846 says. Unfortunately my guy you're gonna have to buy your own land. As well as pay taxes on that land to have a long term home in the wilderness. Or don't tell people about it when you do as and don't post online. An Emery Ninimalsrid says. National parks that allow camping and you have to be nomadic. People do it though. Problem is to not get kicked out you have to go deep in the. It's not easy to make it back to civilization. To restock essentials like replacing tools and food in bad seasons, water filters, stuff like that. Shanjum7 says. Doesn't sound like you escaped the rat race if the landowner just randomly evicted you. Mobius80 says. If you're willing go way off grid you can get about half an acre in the White Mountains of Arizona for about 2 grand. Parlacat Xarxo says. How much land do you actually use? Middle of nowhere woodland isn't normally that pricey. Maybe he'd take an offer. Desistrogeneral says. There was a big, high wall there that tried to stop me a sign was painted said private property, but on the backside, it didn't say nothing this land was made for you and me. When the sun come shining, then I was strolling, and the wheat fields waving. And the dust clouds rolling the voice was chanting as the fog was lifting this land was made for you and me. This land is your land, and this land is my land from California to the New York Island from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters this land was made for you and me. Ratchet, 72 says. Hell, you can get 20 to 30 acres with a cabin already on it in the middle of nowhere main for dollar sign 75-80k. Niri Asnir says. It is his land. He did not promise permission forever. You really do not have a choice. You only escape the rat race for 4 years, because your landlord let you have the spot for free, which he has no obligation to. I just wanted to live by my own wits, hands and skill. Well, find a piece of land no one has a claim to then. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.